Well, it's a beautiful day out here at Honolulu International. Uh, clouds, no wind. It's a good day for flying. There's the gyro in the front of the hangar. Let's go do a pre-flight. Okay, we start at the front. Make sure the front tire is inflated. It's off the ground normally. And make sure that there's nothing in the pitot tube. Something might have crawled in there. This is actually the excretory and reproductive organ. It serves two purposes. I made this removable so that uh, when I put the covers on, I can put them on. Make sure that the rudder lock is off and the rotor brake. We'll turn the rotor brake off now. Okay. And uh, I'm going to take a, a, a fuel sample here. It looks good. Uh, oil. Make sure we got oil. Right up to the mark. Okay. Now I left the uh, center belt covers off so that you can see, actually see the cam belts and also the cam, cam idlers. Make sure that these don't have any grease coming out of them or evidence of heat because they do get warm in flight because this engine turns very fast. Uh, the alternator belt, belt tension. Uh, there's fuel filter here and there's an, two more down there and two more in the tank. They have strainers in the tank so the fuel is well filtered. There's uh, ignition wiring, make sure that everything's solid. Uh, the reduction drive belt, make sure there's a half of a belt width deflection when you push with your fingers. About one half of a belt with the deflection. If it's too tight, then when this heats up during flight, it'll expand a little bit and it'll overstress the, the bearings. So you actually make sure that this is tight but not too tight. And the adjustment for it is back here. This is an eccentric. Okay, three blades of the propeller. Make sure they're all okay. All okay. Radiator, make sure that that's mounted just a little bit loose so it can move, move around during uh, during flight but not too loose of course it's mounted in rubber uh, battery cables make sure that they're, they're okay this is the positive this is the negative uh, I ran the battery cables directly to the starter both the positive and the negative and so that they were the batteries grounded right onto the starter itself and that helps every 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 little bit helps okay make sure that everything looks good in the rotor bra uh, uh, rotor head uh, the clutter keys are in the controls and uh, exhaust is, is uh, firmly mounted everything solid we move to the tail here's uh, this tail is mounted very very solidly uh, the rudder, okay, the, the uh, rudder trim should be right, right straight. If it's even a little bit left or right, and it's very easy for someone walking by to move it, then you have to hold left or right rudder as you're flying, and it's kind of tiring after a while. Okay, the blade. We're going to look here, the tip weights, and we're going to look at the bottom and the top. Okay, now always look at the blade from the back. Never in the front. Don't pull down on the front. No, don't put any strain on it. And the way you examine the front blade is to push the rotor around. Just with your finger like this. And it'll move very easily. And don't pull down on it now. The rotor blade is the most delicate part of the gyro. And fortunately, I have two of them. So, now we can examine the other blade back here. You look at the bottom and the top, and uh, start back over here. 
propeller and the same thing on this side check the cam belts check the idlers make sure that they're okay they do wear out now not quickly but they do wear out and this helps keep them cool the fact that I took the belt covers off doesn't mean that they run so hot because there's air around the and that can move and cool them off. Okay, distributor, solid here, everything solid. And you look here, get the time off the hobs and write it down on the log. And uh, that's the log books there, everything's fine. And you, you can store sunglasses, whatever, whatever you want in there. It's much more useful than a bunch more instruments, believe me. Okay. Uh, it looks good. Fuel. Make sure that you have enough fuel. And uh, to facilitate that I put this in which is a sight gauge on the outside. And uh, I can see that we have just about 15 gallons right in here. Where I've written 15 gallons. And I said do not fill above this line. There's 20 gallons right there. So it's a uh, you can easily see how much gas you've got before you get in. Now if you really want a confirmation or if the gas gets low, you can look right here and you kind of wiggle the gyro a little bit and you can see, sometimes you can see a little bit of fuel sloshing around in there and you can tell just how much you've got. But if it's above that line, then you can't really tell how much you have. Okay, I think we're ready to go fly.